Hi there, Gemini, and welcome back to Star Lord is This is your tarot forecast for the month of March 2024. Can you believe it? Wow, I can't. <laughs> So anyway, I already shuffled your cards, uh, laid them out on the table. Now, remember, this is the monthly format where we go overall energy and break it down week by week. So Gemini, your overall energy is the four of wands in the upright position. Beautiful, beautiful energies to have for an entire month overall energy. You know what the four of wands is, right, Gemini? Uh, I have arrived. So Gemini, you have arrived this month in some aspect of your life. You're putting the finishing touches on something that you have been working towards and working on for quite some time. You finally reached the summit. You're finally at a place where it's time to take a step back and actually enjoy and celebrate your success thus far. There's still more work to do. Remember, it's only at a four level, but this is the part where you get to finally see an accomplishment, where it's manifest right there before your very eyes. For some of you, you could have been working on this uh, project for quite some time. Others of you, maybe it's just more of a short-term thing, but either way, you're going to be feeling very good, very celebratory at this time. Some of you could be um, attending a wedding, or maybe it's your, even your own wedding this month. It could be um, the, the big grand reveal after you've been renovating. It can represent your house is finally built, so it's time for the housewarming party whatever is going on here something big is going on and something to celebrate because you deserve the success you've earned it you work towards it and here it comes <laughs> ten of pentacles in the upright rooted down by the ace of wands upright so this is week one ten of pentacles beautiful energy maybe for some of you um what you've accomplished has been has brought you some big dividends in terms of you know financial wealth it can sometimes represent inheritance or it could be uh, extra money or bonus coming it could be a, a partner or someone in the home maybe a grown child gets a job and they're finally able to contribute to the family wealth it can be enough money now that you can you know help not only sustain your family but also help help further them it could be extra money that you're going to be putting aside maybe for your children's education or something beautiful beautiful energy of abundance and it's rooted down by the ace of wands in the upright position this is ace is always usher in something new and exciting and fun this could be a new business idea this could for some of you this could be a passionate new relationship that comes on the scene um, this could be a brilliant new uh, business idea that could bring in all this extra cash for some of you Ace of Wands is always something new, something brilliant, something exciting. Gemini's love, excitement. So you'll be very happy to hear that the month of March is going to start off with an incredible bang for you. And in week two, we have a couple of major arcanas here. The High Priestess in the upright, rooted down by Major Arcana, the star. The High Priestess indicates there's a need for you in week two, Gemini, to go within, to listen to your intuition. This is all about... Um, there's like some hidden knowledge. There's some things going on around perhaps that you're not aware of, but nobody can really tell you what's going on. It could be something you're just sensing at this time. It can also represent uh, things being hidden to, from you by others. Maybe there's hidden clauses and contracts or things like that that you just haven't been made aware of yet. Use your intuition. You can... Um, you can do some meditation or you can just go within, use your instincts um, on this and figure out what is going on. The star is rooting it down, which is good. The star represents wish upon a star um, because it is the Major Arcana's version of the wish card. So you can just have your wish manifest. It's a feeling of, of optimism and hope. This is where we're feeling really hopeful, optimistic, and seeing the brighter side of life. So no matter what is going on in terms of your instinct, if something is going on behind the scenes, Gemini, I think you feel intuitively maybe that it's a good thing because the high priestess everybody just assumes that something's being hidden it could be 
ne it will be negative. It's not. It's sometimes the high priestess will come up, say for example, if somebody's trying to plan a, a surprise birthday party for you, that's not negative. I mean, unless you're somebody who doesn't really like surprise birthday party, then maybe it is. But I think you get the idea. It's about uh, something going on behind the scenes and maybe you do sense it but you also sense that it's a positive thing. Because this is a card that represents hope and optimism that come from within. So there's something going on here and I think you are feeling really good. Maybe some of you just sense something really good is going to happen or you're picking up on something. So beautiful, good for you. Now in uh, week three, we have the Two of Cups rooted down by the King of Swords upright. So the Two of Cups, um, all of your cards are in the upright position here. Yeah, yeah, interesting. Two of Cups, looks like this is gonna be a fantastic month. I hope it you know, resonates for all the Geminis out there because I know you Gemmies have been through it. So um, hopefully things are gonna to start to turn around for you. I know that they will be definitely in the second half when Jupiter starts moving into Gemini. It's gonna be beautiful for you guys. But maybe this is the lead up to it because March is looking fantastic for you guys. Getting back to week three, two of cups in the upright position. This is about a connection. It could be a connection with one other person where you're just on the same page. Some of you could be meeting somebody new. This is very soul matey type of energy. This is a strong connection to others. Uh, it could be a soul connection. It could be just getting together even with your own partner if you're married or with somebody. It could be that the two of you are talking. You're both on the same page and uh, you're just blown away about how, how, um, connected you are and how much you both have the same aspirations and you both want to do the same things. So it's a really good energy of really connecting with another person. Could be a business partner, but for a lot of you, this is going to be a relationship connection, a, re a strengthening of an existing relationship, or could be developing of a new relationship. Could be hanging out with your best friend, just again, on the same page, maybe the plans for the future. You guys are totally on board with it. And they're totally on board with what's going on with you. King of Swords in the upright position, beautiful. This is um, Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Arising. This is you coming up in your own reading in the upright position, indicating you are on the right path with the words you need to say, especially in a one-on-one -on -one relationship, or maybe it's all one-on-one -on -one relationships here, Gemini. In week three, you are very much uh, speaking your mind and it's going well. You're, you're speaking your truth. That's what the King of Swords does. He speaks the truth. He comes out, he makes, um, makes declarations, but he's interested in, uh, you know, mental, cerebral, logical communication. He just wants to speak the truth and it could be to somebody, maybe you want to speak the truth to somebody it, that is very close to you and you really want to maybe pour your heart out or say, uh, well, pour your heart out in a logical way, if that makes sense. But that does make sense if you're dealing with Gemini because you guys are the logical, mental, cerebral types. So maybe this is how you pour your heart out is, you know, through mental thought. So interesting. Let me know in the comment section below if this is resonating for you, if it makes sense. And in week four, you have the Ace of Pentacles in the upright rooted down by the Ten of Wands. Aha! Okay, we have another Ace here, Gemini. Something new is beginning at the end of the month. It could be due to the accomplishment already and the celebrations intact and there's, you know, a new spark. It could be a new person, new relationship developing or the strengthening of an old... And now, all of a sudden, a new opportunity comes up for you at the end of the month. This is uh, perhaps an investment opportunity. It could be a golden opportunity to start something new. I'd be careful with that with the Ten of Wands rooting it down, though, because it can indicate that this new venture or this new business that can make you a lot of money down the road is going to be a lot of work. 
That's what the Ten of Wands is. It could be a burden. It could be a huge burden. So whatever this is, somebody comes to you with an investment idea, it could be that, especially if it's a business investment, it could be that you need to do a lot of work uh, in order to get this off the ground. But who knows, with this fantastic um, energy behind you here, uh, Gemini, you could be, you know, ready for it. Just be careful. Ten of Wands is a lot of... Uh, it's a lot of uh, physical work. It can be for some of you. Could be mental work, but it, it's probably both. I'm feeling like it's both here where you're gonna have to put in a lot of time, a lot of hours, a lot of energy. But just be careful that you don't overdo it. That's the thing with the 10 of wands. So the good thing about tens is they do represent the ending. So if you maybe push, push, push to get this off the ground, you may be able to sort of lay back later on and just let the dividends roll in. <laughs> So always in closing, I pull two cards. One is for love and romance and the second for career and finance. Love and romance, we have Gemini, communications number three. It could be a love interest is another Gemini. It could represent something important happens in your love life when the moon is in Gemini. Or it could be on the 3rd of March where something happens. Well, we do see a potential passionate new startup here in the first week. So that could be possible could be with or through uh, a gem maybe a gemini introduces you to somebody new <laughs> and the next card is for career and finance let's see what we have for gemini career and finance aries number 25 collaboration so this could be a new business partner for somebody it could be somebody you are going into business with whom you are on the same page with and uh, that's the one where if you do get involved it's going to be a lot of work um, could be something important happens in your career or financial status when the moon is in aries or with or through in aries but that's what i have for you my dear gemini's I want to remind you of the podcast on the weekends come and join us live at the uh, on the channel come and check it out see what's happening all you have to do is come to the channel it's always posted times and everything so have a great month of march it looks like some of you are going to have a fantastic month of march um i hope the reading helped you if it did please feel free to like share and subscribe and i will see you again next time take care much love namaste bye bye for now